Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Molly. So for this video, I have decided to do a little bit of a minimalism video. I thought it would be fun because it's also towards the end of the year. So this video is about a couple things I did not buy this year. And I'm actually pretty proud of myself for this because first one is Build-A-Bears. Now there's two Build-A-Bears that I was really thinking of getting, which is the Isabel Animal Crossing Build-A-Bear and also the Friends TV show themed Build-A-Bear. But when I looked at them, I decided, no, I should not. I already have so many of them anyways. And I just, overall, in general, I felt like I could get a better deal or something better than these Build-A-Bears. So I did not purchase at least two to three Build-A-Bears this year. And I'm actually pretty proud of myself for that. Number two is makeup from ColourPop. As much as I love ColourPop and they do make pretty fun and cool color schemes and stuff like that and in general themes for tv shows and movies there was a couple that i really wanted but i decided molly you already have the makeup you're good you do not need it it's just something that's on it and you don't need it i have the sailor moon collection already the hocus pocus collection elsa and anna i did not need the animal crossing one which was so cute but i was like molly no and they also had who's one of my favorite the tinkerbell collection and i was like no molly you, you don't need it so i decided not to buy at least two of the themed collections from ColourPop, which i was actually really proud of myself because like i said i realized that it's the theme of it that i really wanted but also no one's gonna know anyways because i do my makeup at home unless i'm going over someone's house or traveling no one's gonna care care about the makeup they care of what how i look and i care about how i look so it didn't matter didn't purchase it now number three is mugs i have a huge collection of mugs and everyone that knows me knows i have so many mugs i have about like 20 of them and i'm trust me i'm trying to declutter some of them and let them go but there's ones i just can't let go like my art of animation mug that i got when i stayed at the art of animation little mermaid resort i will never get rid of that mug i love it it's reminds me of when i went to disney but so i saw a couple mugs that i really wanted like a hocus pocus mug from box lunch and also i saw a shrewd farms mug at um tj maxx and i said no molly you don't need it you already have too many mugs you're a good girl so i did not buy any new well i bought one new mug for halloween but that was it i didn't buy any other mugs that i told myself didn't need any you're good so there's that and now my last one is i really wanted some of these fat packs you know the themed ones like harry potter disney and there was a couple that I really wanted to buy, but I decided, at least for now, not to buy them. So I did not buy any of the themed bad packs. I might, and there's a Harry Potter one, Hufflepuff, that I'm looking at. Just not in my budget right now. I don't want to spend the money, especially since it's around Christmas time. I want to save that money for gifts to give to my loved ones. But again, I didn't buy any of the themed backpacks. I was so close to it. I was like, ah, oh. but also too, I have like five of them already. So I'm like, well, you don't need another one. You barely use them. I personally take them out when I'm traveling or going for a walk in my neighborhood because I need to put my keys somewhere and my phone somewhere. So I do use them occasionally, but not to the expense that I should be getting a new one anyways. So I'm like, Molly, no, you're good. So I did not buy any fat packs. I did not buy any mugs this year. No, oh, I bought makeup, but no new color palettes. And I did not buy, well, I bought one or two build bears, but I didn't buy the ones that I thought I wanted. So in general, I think I did pretty good this year. I uh, reminded myself of what I actually want. But to do with my finance, such as paying down debt and saving money, and I also started a retirement account. So I'm pretty proud of myself of where I stand. 
and I'm okay with it. I'm hoping next year would be about the same, but we'll see. But that's it for this video. Feel free to comment if something you did not buy this year, because I think it would be fun. And I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!